So this uh, interesting topic today, we will be speaking with Dr. Yun Suk Chung. She is a senior executive producer uh, with EBS and a lady who has actually started co-production uh, in the region. I won't say just in the region because we were just talking earlier. She's also branched out to South America. So welcome, Dr. Yun Suk Chung. And uh, of course, can we give her a big hand? <laughs> Let's warm up this afternoon, okay? So um, we also have uh, Yoshi. Yoshichiro, Yoshichiro Takashi-san from uh, Japan. Also, if you are aware of children's co-productions, the ABU works very closely with Japan, Korea. These have been the leaders uh, in children's co-production worldwide. And of course, we have Ms. Zeng Weijing, Wiki, as she wants to be called. Uh, she happens to be the Deputy General Manager of CCTV uh, Animation from China. So, uh, Welcome, all three of you. And of course, the other two that you see here are young people who are actually doing uh, translation for you. So if any of you are not able to pick up, um, you know, we have Japanese and Chinese translation, right? Okay, thank you so much. So perhaps we'll start off with uh, Dr. Shou. Welcome. Uh, hi, my name is Hyun Suk uh, from EBS Korea. EBS is a specialized like, uh, educational broadcast system. I've been working for children's programming quite many years. So, okay, shall we start from my presentation material? Uh, yes, uh, baby on the way. Some people ask me whether I'm pregnant. Yes, uh, in a way, yes. Yes, the second baby on the project. So that's why it's called Baby on the Way 2. So I'm so happy to present this uh, second season of Baby on the Way, children's documentary co-production here at uh, ATF. Started in 2015, uh, the initial idea of this project was to encourage, okay, 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 uh, production more real stories of real Asian children's lives. And you know, when people say documentary, it sounds quite boring or too serious for kids. But actually, I want to challenge that kind of prejudice. And this prejudice, the challenging job was possible, sponsored by uh, Ministry of Science, ICT, and Future Planning in Korea, and the Korean Communication Agency, because this kind of, without public funding, it was quite difficult to achieve. So I'll go get to the, the content. Yes, as I said, the collaborating on the second season, we have got six different countries from three continents. First season was only six countries in Asia, but expanding uh, to uh, three different continents. As you can see, Korea, Vietnam, Thailand, Cambodia, Italy, and Chile. Like children, the project keeps growing, getting bigger. Thank God, <laughs> I hope I can continue third and fourth. Okay, um, here is a taste of Baby on the Way uh, season two, kind of trailer for six episodes of the season two. Can you watch the video first? Okay, thank you. Okay, I wonder how you enjoy the one minute clip. It's, uh, it's very difficult to tell you the whole story. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, uh, Baby on the Way takes an innovative approach to the development of children's 
content with factual stories shot from a child point of view and told in children's own words with animated sequence to help uh, express their dream sequence. Another aim of this project is to support co-production initiatives and to show that full-scale animation is not the only way to approach the children's content market. Instead of homogenizing monocultural approach, we are trying to expand the children's cultural horizons by showing the beauty of local culture and the local family life in local languages. Of course, you should be done in, the, in your own local language when it's broadcasted. In the process, I think we have also made compelling educational material for young parents. Even though I made it for children, absolutely for children and about children, parents loved it and they said they, it gave them a moment to understand the kids better. Sometimes they took for granted of their, what they say to kids, but it changed their attitude as well. That was kind of extra bonus. Uh, the Baby on the Way explore children's emotions about siblings in the family. Uh, in the family, as well as reflecting parental feelings. And the episodes present family relationships as the essential core communities in which children grow and socialize better in the wider society. I hope this film, this, this project, inspire us to use your own media skills to give a loud and clear voice to the children, the future citizens. Actually, they are citizens now, but they are getting bigger in the near future. So we should appreciate their input and their contribution in family management as well. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Hume. I think that's a wonderful way of putting it. When you produce content for children, you're not just um, you know, sharing it with kids or hearing the children's point of view, but actually, basically, you're educating the parents as well. Now, I think that's so true. But first, we'd like to open the floor uh, for questions. So if you have questions, you can um, identify yourself, please. Yes, the gentleman behind, is it? Can you please get the mic? Thank you. Yeah, Anil Vanwari from India. Uh, how did you put this project together? Who's putting in the, apart from the ministry, how are you getting the different countries to do the co-production? Are they putting in their own money? Who's got the rights? Uh, and you know, where is it going to be broadcast? Is it on OTT? Is it on traditional television? What are the outlets for the different countries? And how did the project come together? Um, I think basically, when it comes to co-production, mm -hmm. these are the questions that the gentleman's pointing out mm -hmm. is coming mm -hmm. up. So do you want to answer the question now or should um, we? I would, I, uh, up to you. You could answer, yes. Okay. So yes, uh, last year as well as this year, we, we just sent out a participation call and then I accept. Of course, I can't say to everyone, but I basically, through my contact, I check whether they want to be part of this uh, project and they were willing to take, take part in the project. And when they become a member of this project, they have got the full right in their own territory. Of course, uh, with a, a governmental funding career, we provide kind of friendly contribution, at the, like a basic starting point. But the final production or broadcasting is decided in the individual country. Oh, the details can be discussed. Uh, uh, in private, not in a <laughs> public space. For example, Panuk Sumi here, uh, representing Singapore last year's project, she was part of the project. If you are interested, you can ask her about it later. Okay, thank you for the question. Um, we can take one more question, and then what we'll do is we'll move on to the second speaker, and then we'll come back after, the, uh, after all the speakers have presented. Is that okay? Do we have another question? Any urgent question? from the floor. Okay, thank you then. So uh, thank you, Dr. Shil. Thank so you. So we will then move on to uh, Yoshihiro-san. Hi, hello. Yes. Hi, hello, everyone. 
Uh, my name is Yoichiro Takahashi uh, from Japan. Uh, I'm the um, executive producer of the EBS, uh, ABU um, Children Drama Co-Production. Um, do you know um, ABU Children Drama Co-Production? Anyone? Have you heard of ABU? Nobody. <laughs> of course. Um, um, I would like to explain this project. Um, this project was started um, from um, 20, uh, uh, 2004. So um, this is a uh, thirty, 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 um, to, um, very, very long, um, long years project. Um, this project with uh, um, co-production um, between the Asian countries and to make the children drama. Um, the drama is uh, not the um, drama about children, and uh, not not. And this is a drama for um, children. So um, and there are and and, and, and this year uh, we made um, eleven um, countries and co-production. Uh, I'd like to um, say the country name: um, Japan, Korea, Brunei, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Thailand, Bangladesh, Iran, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Mongol. And um, we, it is important for our project. Before um, starting to the, uh, shoot the project, we had the meeting twice in Malaysia and in Japan. And, uh, and discuss about the details of the um, dramas. Because, um, as you know, um, there are many different backgrounds in Asian countries. So um, we can discuss how to realize um, their daily life or the details of the um, different um, background of the culture to realize um, for any um, countries. Because and it is important to this drama is a gateway for the another culture for the children. So uh, um, uh, it is um, very, very uh, long. Um, it is uh, need necessary to um, take a very long time um, to make the production. But uh, the um, the length of the feature is uh, only um, 15 minutes. So um, our pride is uh, uh, we respect um, to the um, this program because. Um, um, for only for um, 50, uh, 15 minutes and to take one year, <laughs> every year. So, and uh, luckily, um, we made um, 11 um, features um, this year, and one of the um, features um, made by Iran I IRIB, the title is My Decision was selected in Japan Prize and uh, AB Prize, uh, uh, both of the finalists. And it is the first time for our project. I'm, I'm very happy. And luckily, um, I would like to thank you, um, Hyunsuk-san. She uh, started um, this project um, 13 years ago. And I, I have just continued to uh, for the future. OK. That's it. Thank you, Yoshihiro Takashi uh, from NHK. And yes, Dr. Uh, Chung, actually, you started way back, uh, co-production, drama co-production, the ABU drama co-production in 2004. Okay, so that means it has been around for the for good 12 years. And um, any questions now for, for Mr. Yoshihiro from the floor? Okay, if not, then we'll move on to the third uh, presentation. Vicky from CCTV. Vicky? Hello, everybody. Uh, 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 Ms. Vicky here is from the Deputy GM for CCTV Animation. So she's in charge for the original content for animations from uh, research to uh, co-production and broadcast. 对, 嗯, 如果大家有所了解的话, 央视动画, 
呃，应该是呃中国国内呃旗舰式的企业，因为它已经有三十年的历史了，有将近三百部动画片的存量。Um, for CCTV animation, um, they are considered the pioneer of animation in China. So um, they have over uh, three. Uh, they, they almost have almost 300 works under their belt right now. So um, they have a very long history running. 对，我们从播出到制作再到衍生产品的开发，呃，是一个全产业链的公司。嗯、mm. ，Okay. Um, from broadcast research and to merchandising, um, they are all-rounded company. 对，呃，我们的这个受众，呃，年龄观众大概是四到十四岁这样的一个范围。嗯，嗯 ，the the their target audience is four to fifteen, uh, Chinese audience in China. Yes. Uh, we are doing about 1,000 hours of such a content. They produce about 1,000 minutes of content every year. Yes. It's mainly from three parts. The first one is the original film and film production. Okay. Um, the awards come from three big major areas. The first one will be original content. 呃，第二部分呢，主要是来自中央电视台少儿频道的动画节目的定制。The second one will come from CCTV animations uh, programs, so it's under CCTV channel itself. 嗯、呃，第三部分呢，主要是联合出品制作，这个包括国内的公司以及和国外的公司。The last one will be from co-production, uh, so it just involves not just from local companies but also for overseas companies. Yes. 所以我们到了今天到了这个 ATF 呢，是希望能够寻找到呃国际的合作的这个联合出品方，一起来探讨共同的呃成熟的好的 IP 品牌的共同呃研发和制作。Okay, uh, one of their aims here at ATF is to look for a partner that could uh develop good IPs for co-production for future works. 对，我举个例子，就我们刚刚和杰克，呃，共同制作的《熊猫和小鼹鼠》已经成功的播出，而且在国内的收视率非常之高。One of their latest co-production with a foreign company is a work that they did with a Czech, Re a Czech Republic company, and currently this um, work is actually well received in China. 嗯，在腾讯网站上的独家的点击量现在也达到了两亿多。Okay, uh, for that work, um, right now in uh, Tencent's video streaming platform, they have reached the reach of about two billion. 对，呃，大概是这样一个简单的情况。我希望大家可以向我提问，然后我来逐一的解答。Miss Vicky, right now is opening the floor up to questions. So if anyone who has a question can pose it up to her right now. Thank you so much, Vicky. Okay, there you heard. Um, our three presenters, Dr. Yun Suk Chung from uh, EBS Korea, Mr. Yoshihiro Takashi from uh, NHK Japan, and also Vicky Ozeng from uh, CCTV Animation Incorporated. And uh, Ms. Vicky has actually given you a business uh, plan here. So uh, I would like to open the floor to questions. We are discussing about um, international co-production. We already have two countries here or two um, experts here who've already started the ball going. Dr. Uh, Yun Suk from the year 2004, we've been having co-productions, and of course the ABU and NHK with uh, so many countries, I think you listed down a lot. And two of these countries have actually been um, finalists in the Japan Prize and also the Asian uh, Broadcasting Union's ABU Prize. So which means that these programs are absolutely of high quality. Uh, if you know about the ABU and uh, broadcasting agencies, so forth. So we'd like to open the floor to questions. If you have any questions, identify yourself, and um, our three people will be here to answer your questions. Ladies and gentlemen. See, this is, yes. you know, the structure you put together was part of the ABU and stuff like that, and a part of government in initiatives. How does it happen in the private sector, you know, principally? without funding from governments, without funding from uh, ministries, mm -hmm. or from the ABU, or, or any of the, uh, you know, uh, bodies which are more, more government bodies. Are we getting the question? 
Um, could you please? No, no. How, do you, how does it happen between, let's say I'm a producer, all right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to put together a production with China, Korea, uh, Japan, and Sri Lanka, which is where, where you are from, I presume. Uh, so uh, how do I put that together? You mean how do you actually join the co-production or? How, how do I put that thing together, the entire piece? I have an idea which, could, which, you know, which covers these five countries. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dr. Yun. I don't know whether I got your question right, but what I want to say is, for example, when, uh, I mean, as Yuichiro Sang mentioned, when I started ABO Drama Co production way back 2004, actually there was no production money provided. Individual broadcaster, I mean, that time, of course, broadcast, public broadcaster or commercial broadcaster, it didn't matter. The broadcaster took part in their production, and the exec producers provide kind of training or production supervision, and we shared, like that slogan was, make one and share others, take others free. That was the thing, that was the condition. But the production I'm doing, this documentary production I just mentioned, Baby on the Way, yes, um, it was not a ABU project, it's a EBS project, but with other partners, sponsored by, with a public fund from the government, of course, Yes, without money, nothing works, of course. What can you say? If, you have got, if you're willing to do something, make a content for children, you need to find your own, you need to find a way to secure the, at least kind of seed money. Then there will be other extra sources to make it together. But you, I mean, without any plan, you can't ask for money. That's what I can say at the moment. But if you want to talk about more like production planning or details, we can, we can talk about it more. Thank you. And uh, which organization are you from, Mr.? Yeah? I didn't get it. Uh, Indian Television. Ah, Indian. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. So um, basically, to just recap what you said, the ABU, and uh, I also think you were with the ABU before this, yeah. what they do is they create um, one program. I mean, each country produces one program, and you go back taking um, 12 programs, for instance. So you make one, and you get 12. It's like this buy one, free one, but actually it involves a whole lot of work. So basically, that's the tagline of the ABU. And uh, if there are more questions from the floor, yes? Yes, hello. Uh, I'm from Thailand. Mm -hmm. my, my question, I'm a broadcaster in Thailand. And um, very interested in doing co-production of similar nature as your speakers have spoken of. For my first project, how do I tell which partner to work with? Korean, Chinese, or Japanese? I What's like the difference? That. <laughs> so, you know, you're putting us in a very interesting situation here. We have China, we have Korea, and we have Japan. I'm not going to answer that question, so... I will just open it and see who what's wants it. What's the difference in perspectives? And or Is that all? What, yeah, what's ah, the difference in perspectives? I see, okay. Yeah? Uh, just what are the difference in perspectives that a potential partner should be aware in order to understand which would be the best partner for co-production? Okay, thank you. Can any one of you answer that, um, this question? Last year, I went to Thailand, and uh, I did the, a workshop with the Thai PBS members, and they are very, very nice, and they are very friendly with, uh, with my opinion. So, and, uh, personally, I would like to prefer, uh, you, you prefer Japan. <laughs> 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 but, and, uh, um, and uh, my opinion, and this is the age of the digital, digital age, so um, five or six years ago, we cannot do um, the common language of the production, but we already have the common language with the personal computer and the digital, uh, and digital uh, cameras. So we can easily communicate with the um, co-production matter. So um, we can discuss um, easily on the on internet with the type PBS member. Um, um, uh, the day before yesterday, we talked with uh, Thai PBS, <laughs> and now they are shooting. So uh, it's, it's very easy to um, communicate. It's uh, very for uh, 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 now, now is a, a new, new, new stage of the co-production. So you can, you can select. 
you can work with everybody. Yeah. <laughs> very, very easy. Okay, so, so, yeah. Miss Vicky? Oh. 对，我觉得这个优势很明显哈，比如说，呃，这个都是非常棒的平台。然后像中国这样的中央电视台，它的受众的这个落地的范围，大家也是可以知道的，因为中国这么大的一个市场，光儿童市场就儿童就好像有两亿多人。啊、uh, ，Miss Vicky was saying that everyone on the parent panel right now are excellent uh, co-production partners that um, the gentleman there can consider about. So for China itself, right, um, they have a very huge market for uh, kids program. Right now, um, they have about they have about two billion uh, audience for children's looking for children program. So children's audience that's available in the market. So um, he, the gentleman there can consider the number first before you know, can go into different uh, content they're looking for. Okay. Yeah, doctor. Okay, I think the, the question is quite interesting uh, because you can choose whatever actually, but you need to, in a way, to be honest, you need to prove yourself whether you are the right partner to work with. I'm not saying for myself, for, for anyone here, because you need to find the right partner to work with because it's tremendous responsibility from planning till you have the output at hand. So, and also different project. Uh, Vicky is in charge of animation and uh, Yoichiro doing drama and I'm, I'm talking about this documentary series even though it has got animated part basically I call it real stories for children so it can be anything so if you have if you have certain expertise on certain area of course you can you can just send out signal and be make a partnership so you you can't say I mean I, I personally think oh China is the best, or Japan is the best, or Korea is the best. There is no such a way to tell, I, th I think. That's my personal feedback. Thank you, Doctor. I think uh, you, you, you said it well. Basically, compelling content um, is what we are looking at. And today, if you look at the industry, uh, Japan, China, Korea, and many emerging uh, countries that are coming up with very interesting uh, content, um, we would like to take more questions from the floor, but first I would like to ask you, you mentioned something about um, real, real stories, okay? And uh, Yoshihiro, you also said ABU drama for children. Um, basically, when we say drama, we, we think about old people and drama. So what drama are we talking about for kids? And here we have animation. Now, when we talk about um, co-production, a lot of us think that it's easy to work with animation because uh, you're beating the culture, um, language perhaps is easier to do stuff. I don't know, but um, here you're talking about real stories. Dr. Yunsuk, would you like to explain why you're looking into this area? Because many people would look at animation. Uh, hmm, yes, I've been working for children's media over 30 years, let's say, and I know the power of animation. Animation is really dominant, especially uh, in the market. About 10 years ago, there was a report. More than 80% of children's content in Asia are from three major American animation companies. 80% of content in Asia. What does that mean? I'm not against animation. I use animation for my story. You see, this is animated characters. So I love animation, but still I'm talking about balance for uh, in children's media development because what they learn now may, not may, seriously influence for their future kind of thinking process. So that's why I'm thinking, uh, talking about balance and real lives. I live in a, like a Mongolian desert, for example. I dream about New York. What does that mean? Of course, that's, uh, that's nice. I can be anywhere in mind, but still they should be deeply rooted where they live or in their own culture, in their own language. So that's why I keep saying real stories of kids. They shouldn't know where they are, what they have, and dream further. So understanding of reality, that's what I want to focus on. 
And, and there's always a stress on um, stressing on reality for kids and not just too much of a fantasy, isn't it, where children's programming is concerned. Any questions from the floor, please? Yes? Hi, um, my name is Patrick Edgerton. I'm from Cheeky Little. In uh, Australia, we focus 100% <clears throat> on making kids animation, and we have done a number of large international co-produced series, so I know how hard it is. And there's no one or easy answer. Um, I just had a question. I was very interested to, to hear from Vicky that um, you were looking to develop IP uh, with overseas companies. Um, and I guess my question is, and it, and it goes somewhat to the point you were making just now, I think that's a damning statistic that there were 80% of Asian content came from three US studios, that's awful. I just wondered how important is cultural specificity in the creation of co-produced content and how do we meet that challenge of telling local but global stories at the same time? Okay, that's an interesting question, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 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 小鼹鼠這個形象就是傑克的一個經典形象,它有50多年的歷史了。one of the examples she likes to highlight about um, the question you just posed was that the recent work that she mentioned just now when she, uh, for co-production that it did with Czech Republic. Uh, so it's called um, 熊貓與小鼹鼠. So 熊貓 is a iconic uh, animal for China and the 小鼹鼠 is actually a um, very iconic animal that represent Czech Republic. So this is a very good example of how culture infused where you can talk about co-production. Yes, but we are looking for a new image. The Chinese is a classic image. So when the two images are together, there are still some issues. It's like you said, the problem is that we have the culture of the culture, and we have the um, definitely, uh, the two uh, icons from the country is very, is very iconic to people. What they are looking for is a new image that are, uh, for this work. So when they were doing the production for uh, this work, there definitely was there was cultural collisions happening. So this was one of the areas they will take in they will take them into consideration when they did the work. So we won't put it back to show on the Hazo so for their work strike, they do not have any um regional or policy boundaries they're looking for. They're looking for a neutral stand whereby um, the characters from the works from the, from the works can meet each other. So there's no saying that um, be, the background must be based from China, the background must be from Czech Republic. So it's actually quite open in this sense. 对,所以我再举个例子,就是我们马上熊猫要跟新西兰的奇异鸟要共同合作一个片子,我们的熊猫就会去新西兰大森林里再演绎一段好玩的故事。um, for this series, the panda will actually be going to New Zealand, which is a coming up new episode, uh, coming out new series. So um, it will do a merge with the kiwi, which is a very kiwi bird. iconic kiwi bird. Uh, kiwi bird, which is yeah. very iconic uh, animal from New Zealand. So uh, the their character, the panda, will actually enjoy a uh, adventure in New Zealand. So it's a new one's coming up. Okay, thank you. So this is Panda on the Move, am I right? Panda on the Move? Panda on the Move. Okay, so, so um, an interesting question there about uh, culture and uh, co-production. I think the ABU has actually worked uh, quite a lot 
on um, addressing this issue because you're looking at many, many countries. Uh, Yoshihiro san, you mentioned a whole long list, I can't remember, but uh, perhaps you can share with us your experience on addressing uh, cultural issues, if there are any, uh, in co-production. Thank you. You successfully used the panda. Uh, 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 for my experience, um, but only two, two years um, as an executive director, but and I believe and uh, it is and, uh, um, difficult to overcome the difference of the um, cultural difference. But um, but uh, for uh, children drama, it is easy to overcome and the difference because. It's the audience were ch children. Um, children is uh, um, not so um, um, ma ma much knowledge about the um, um, problems of the social problems. So, and uh, I ask and and uh, uh, to my participant and to um, not to deal with the uh, um, social problems uh, for the dramas. And this is the. Uh, um, only f for the um, drama, dramas of the for the children. So, um, fan and the uh, um, viewpoint uh, from the children, the world is very different. So it is very um, easy to overcome the um, and culture. overcome the cultural difference. Thank you. So you pointed out that uh, working with children. Basically, all three of you are very passionate about children's programs and how we can address uh, issues that crop up. Uh, we've got three minutes um, plus left. I would like to throw some que um, questions on the floor, please, if there are any. Yes. Hi, um, my name is Antu Harlan. I come from a company called Gilbug Entertainment in Helsinki, uh, Finland. It's a small Scandinavian country, very cold and very nice educational system there. Um, I have a question for Vicky. You mentioned that you're looking for uh, new IPs. How would you like to be approached? Would you like um, um, a producer to pre present an idea at an early stage, or would you like to be approached when there's a, already a local production company attached? Thank you.好 Okay, for Ms. Vicky, you were uh, saying that um, with regards to your question, she has a very open-minded stand regarding the co-production. Um, though she preferably likes to uh, refer to mature IP, because when you come to co-production, you have to put in the resources and everything else. So having a mature IP will actually have a better advantage. Sometimes if you have a non-mature IP, the time taken for productions and maybe discussion will be longer. So um, this is her advice to the question that you pose about. Okay, thank you. And uh, one last question uh, before we wrap up. Anybody? Uh, okay, if there's no questions, I would like to ask uh, Dr. Yun Sok. Doctor, you're already on Baby on the Way 2. How was the response to Baby on the One? Is there a Baby on the Way? Baby on the Way, that's it. Yes. Okay, with the success of Baby on the Way 1, six episodes, we are uh, on the stage of finalizing Baby on the Way 2. But actually, as you, uh, one of you mentioned, um, I, I'm about to talk about Baby on the Way 3. 
uh, yeah, three. Uh, it's a uh, short stories for kids. Also, I, I saw the potential of the longer feature-length documentary for parents because there was so much feedback from parents getting to know about the children's world. So we are about to develop that idea. So if any of you are interested in that project, you can you can talk to me afterward. And this project is not just in Asia, but also South America. Uh, you, you've actually branched out to continents. Yes, few continent. at the beginning in Asia, it was it includes strong element of a training to develop children's content in Asia. But um, this year, we developed further to Italy, to Europe, and to Latin America. So next year, I don't know. It's, it'll go further out to Africa. Let's see. I haven't decided yet. Thank you so much, Dr. Shinsuk. And yes, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us on this We Watch's Compelling Collaborations. I'm Philomena Pragasam, and a word of thank you also to Ms. Yoshihiro-san and uh, Vicky and Dr. Yun So. Thank you very much.